Hi, it's Nancy, uh, Menopause Mummy. Just checking to see how everybody is doing, what sort of day you all had. Uh, my confession, Menopause Mummy confession today, is that I only got up at one o'clock. Isn't that really bad? I had a friend FaceTime me at 12 o'clock. <laughs> I couldn't even pretend to, to be up because obviously she caught me and I was still in bed. Um, so I think she was, uh, she was pretty shocked actually. So... Um, Yes, I uh, could do better, note to self, could do better indeed. I didn't have a great night, but uh, still no excuse to get up at one o'clock. Um, and, and as a result, I felt quite sluggish for the rest of the day. Didn't, I wasn't massively productive. Managed 20 minutes on the yoga mat, didn't even get up for my, my constitutional walk. So yeah, I'm definitely not going to do this tomorrow. Um, I will make sure that I'm up by the time a pop master is on. That will be my 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 sort of when my alarm goes off, I think. Um, so just wanting to see, as I say, how everybody else is getting on. Um, I'm still managing to fatten these curves quite well, so no flattening of my curves just yet. Um, but uh, the eating is getting slightly better, actually. Um, I must admit, getting into more of a routine, so that's good. And I think everybody else is probably as well. Um, I'm gathering that uh, I think the novelty of pigging pigging out all day every day is is is, is on the wane, which is good. I uh, just want to see how everybody else is doing in all four corners of the globe. Um, I've got family all over the world, so it's been quite interesting catching up with them and seeing how they are coping. Um, I spoke to my, my stepmom Heather um, in South Africa, and uh, they are not allowed out at all, so no walks allowed, and their numbers are really low, so an interesting link there. Uh, my mum lives in Israel. Um, they are only allowed out for a 100 meter walk, um, but not out allowed at all at the moment because it's um, it's Pesach, so obviously traditionally a time for Jewish families to get together, um, and obviously that's very, very limited, so I believe their numbers are quite low as well. So an interesting link, and uh, also watching um, what's happening uh, down under as well um, in uh, New Zealand and Australia again it seems that they've they've managed to flatten the curve quite quite early on um, I do think personally I don't know what your thoughts are uh, that uh, the fact that we've got such amazing weather at the moment which is lovely I'm not complaining um, has exacerbated things because it's you know it's not conducive to staying indoors um, if the weather's great and I think if the weather was awful we'd stay indoors and we'd probably be able to manage this a lot quicker so interested to know what your thoughts are as well um, but uh, yeah I went out shopping last night for the first time in a week um, last time I was in a shop I was actually behind the checkout so it was interesting being there as a customer um, and I went I had I had a had a, um, a cotton scarf on um, in lieu of a mask I don't have a mask and it felt really claustrophobic it was really interesting I, and I, th I thought gosh you know actually wearing a mask isn't that great at all and I know it's not necessarily a, a complete barrier but it um, I felt like I was sort of doing something to protect myself um, but really really claustrophobic and I really feel for those on the front line particularly uh, in you know those in the hospitals the NHS the doctors and nurses who are nursing uh, COVID patients who um, I watched a documentary the other night and um, you know they, they've obviously they've got the full masks on and you know the pretty much almost a hazmat suit really um, but because obviously they've got these surgical masks on they can't hear each other so they're having to use walkie-talkies um, which again is just another level of stress so you just you take for granted that you can you know when you haven't got a mask and you can you know you can hear what someone's saying but you can you know also watching what they're saying and obviously you can't do that with this so that was quite interesting so you know masks are all very well but they're actually they're really quite claustrophobic so uh, yeah I'm very glad now that I don't have to go out again and and so need to have to wear one so feeling very grateful um, more thanks to our amazing NHS um, and we've just done our clap and our um, pot banging for for Boris as well now so feeling you know feeling very very grateful indeed very very grateful so yeah so I just wanted to see how everybody else was feeling and doing and uh, you know what your plans are for the rest of the week um, and you know how you're coping really so I've just caught up with a friend of mine Mike who I've not spoken to in a couple of years just because life got in the way and we just had a lovely FaceTime session and it's so so lovely I cannot stress how important it is to stay in touch with friends and family um, FaceTiming is just such a lovely way to reconnect so don't be a stranger don't be alone keep in touch and say just speak to even if it's just one person a day um, and uh, you know I'm always here if anybody wants to chat just DM me and I'm happy to FaceTime you so so I love you all lots and I hope that everybody is managing to cope okay. Bye for now.